About that time, Caesar Augustus ordered a census to be taken throughout the empire. This was the first census for the new governor of Syria. Everyone had traveled to his own ancestral hometown to be accounted for. So Joseph went from the Galilean town of Nazareth up to Bethlehem in Judah, David's town, for the census. As a descendant of David, he had to go there. He went there with Mary, his fiancée, who was pregnant. While they were there, the time came for her to give birth, and she gave birth to a son, her firstborn, and she wrapped him in a blanket and laid him in the manger, because there was no room in the hotel. There were shepherds camping in the neighborhood. They had set night watches over the sheep. Suddenly, God's angel stood among them, and the God's glory blazed around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said, don't be afraid. I'm here to announce a great and joyful event that is meant for everyone worldwide. The angel said, a savior has just been born in David's town, a savior who is Messiah and master. This is what you're looking for, a baby wrapped in a blanket and lying in a manger. At once, the angel was joined by a huge angelic choir singing God's praises. Glory to God in the heavenly heights, peace to all men and women on earth who please him. As the angel choir withdrew into heaven, the shepherds talked it over. Let's go to Bethlehem as fast as we can and see for ourselves what God has revealed to us. And they left running and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger.
the shepherds returned and let loose, glorifying and praising God for everything they had seen and heard. And it turned out exactly the way they'd been told. But Mary kept all these things to herself, holding them dear, deep within herself.